Hey family, welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're having a blessed and positive day. This is going to be a general energy reading for the higher self, messages from the higher self, okay? Uh, there will be some sparks here. We, we have some sparks as I light the Palo Santo here, okay? So um, something is going to spark your interest, okay? Uh, the light bulb is gonna go on. There's something in this video that you need to hear, okay? If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Uh, if you were guided here, it's not by accident. The Most High or your spirit guides want you to be here. And I'm so glad that you clicked on the video. Please hit the like button, share, subscribe, join the family. I would love to have you. If you are returning, what's going on, Soul Family? How you doing? <laughs> I hope that you guys are having a blessed and positive day. And I really hope that the content on this channel is helping you as you uh, continue to ascend on your spiritual path, okay? I am here with you as always. I'm healing uh, right along with you guys and co-creating with your energy to get these messages out from the Holy Spirit. I was guided to do a higher self message because one, I feel as though my higher self was connecting with me, giving me downloads and insight on things that I need to focus on at this time. And uh, I also felt the projection of some energies. So I was guided to get on here. If it's happening with me, I'm sure it is happening with you guys as well. And as I get information, uh, I am obedient to the Most High God and I get on here and see what we need to let you guys know as well so that we are equipped to handle whatever is coming, okay? So let's get into it. Uh, as always, let's first start with a few deep breaths. Inhale positive life force energy. Release the stress, anxiety, anything negative in your energy with that exhale. Most high God, divine Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, archangels, guardian angels, divine being, and divine ancestors of the highest white light. We thank you. Please connect with me now. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know at this time with every one of me and all of you. Most high God, please anoint and authorize every word that comes out of my mouth. Archangel Michael, please protect our energy. Please close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. Please encamp the angels of protection around myself and the collective Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel. Please help us to continue to heal on our spiritual path. Please and thank you. Okay. I heard watch what you're doing, watch what you're saying, okay? At this time, we are manifesting at a very significantly high level right now, okay? So it's very important that we are watching the things we say, our thoughts, okay? Making sure that the energy that we want to see in our physical reality is the energy that we are emitting at this time. Be sure, I mean, your thoughts right now are potent and positive, and if they are not positive, they are being picked up by the universe as well. So, so it's something about how you're thinking, how you're speaking, uh, the actions you may be taking, something along those lines, okay? You manifest what you emit, okay? Okay, it says avoidance behaviors and beliefs about anxiety can keep you trapped in anxiety cycles. Challenging these beliefs is the first step to overcoming anxiety. 
exposure therapy is structured framework for conquering your fears. The only way to overcome a fear is by confronting it until your anxiety peaks and subsides. Okay, there's something else here. What is it, Holy Spirit? Take good care of yourself. Eat a good diet. Schedule the time for relaxation. And talk to someone you trust when life is feeling overwhelming. Okay. You have every reason to be optimistic. Okay. That's what they wanted me to end it with. Okay. So again, we have to be proactive about what we want to see in our physical reality. What we consume as far as food, content, okay, um, what we are doing as far as exercising uh, our body, our brain, okay, what we're reading, what we're watching, everything that we are doing right now is manifesting. So you have every reason to be optimistic. That is the, the overall energy. That is the overall message that the Most High wants you to get today, okay? Watch your thoughts. Watch what you're saying, okay? Watch your actions. Watch the things that you're consuming, okay? If you're watching a lot of, and I'm not pointing a finger or judging anybody, please know that, okay? This is for me as well. My higher self was speaking to me, and that's the reason why I'm getting on here, Um so everything that we're doing now the veil is thinning okay that means from our ears to the spirit realm or i'm sorry for our, from our mouths and thoughts to the spirit room is happening quickly so you want to be making sure that you are i am powerful i am successful i am abundant i am moving forward uh, in life I am whatever it is that you want to be okay start projecting that start stepping into that energy start doing those things that are going to get you to that place okay let's see what's here they're guiding me here first yeah okay yeah the law of perception thank you holy spirit i was feeling this and not really how do you perceive the situation to be if your perception is i don't have enough to make it the universe is going to continuously deliver this is all about the law of attraction the law of perception how you see things how you are uh what you're calling in to your physical reality how many cards here holy spirit i'm hearing two okay what is the message holy spirit from the collective's higher self this one which one this one the law of rhythm the universe is guiding you go with the flow okay staying in the divine flow okay that means Ultimately, the Most High God in the universe wants you to step into this energy of receiving, okay? Giving and receiving the rhythm, okay? Balance, okay? The law of karma, just as I said that. Is this the second card, Holy Spirit? No, okay? But you are being called to a higher purpose, okay? The law of karma. We all have karmic debt to pay okay now we also all if we are reaping if we are sowing positive seeds we are going to reap give and receive okay what are you giving what are you putting out 
okay you whatever you putting out that's what you're going to get back if you're putting out anything negative the universe will deliver that to you if you're putting out things about peace positivity love you're going to get that back okay beneath that was the law of manifestation i cannot make this up holy spirit is this my card yes this is the second card okay they just wanted to show you the law of karma about if you whatever you put in is what you're going to get out okay the law of manifestation let go of trying to control life and allow the miracles okay but stay in a positive energy okay you have to be a vibrational match to receive and the universe is aware if you're just saying this but your actions are not aligned if you're saying i am powerful i am strong but there's doubt inside then that won't that won't come okay because you're showing the universe that you're a lack okay that there is a lack there is no lack okay let's see holy spirit i was guided to this day what we need to see yeah i just saw doubt okay so someone here is doubting there can be no doubt you have to know be at peace and know confirmation that the universe is going to deliver because you are a vibrational match and the universe is going to balance everything out okay and give you discipline okay this is what they want you to step into this is all about saying i'm powerful knowing okay knowing I know, okay, I am, not I'm going to, I will, there's no I will and there's no I'm going to, there's only I am, okay, and you have to know that whatever this is, is coming, I can accomplish what I set my mind to, okay, that's the energy that we're stepping into, what else, Holy Spirit? self-esteem I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others okay these are affirmations I possess not I will possess or I I'm going to step into it they are wanting you to see yourself your higher self is saying see yourself as your best self in order to manifest your best self visualize This is a very powerful message. I really hope it's coming through clear. Hold on one second. Let me get some clips for this. Okay, I'm back. Now let's see what your higher self wants you to know at this time. These are pre-channeled cards that I produce the channel with my guides from the higher self there are a few here for you tell yourself i love you okay self-esteem you have to start pouring love into yourself okay start seeing yourself as the most high sees you the most high adores you loves you okay wants to give to you want you to be in this divine flow this vibrational energy this match for all the blessings everything that is meant to come to you okay your inner child is waiting for you okay there is some inner child healing work that needs to be done okay get out of your head okay if you're in your head that means you're pondering if you're manifesting, there is no pondering. You just know. You just know and you let it go. You move on because you know it's coming. Don't matter about when, how, or any of the details. Allow the universe and the Most High God to deal with that. You just need to know that whatever you're trying to get to is coming. Okay? We have removed the cords. So some cord cutting 
or cord removal meditations are necessary for you. Okay. Okay, they're guiding me to split it. Okay, just as I thought. Okay, so do not let anyone to trigger you. Do not let anyone trigger you. You are healed, okay? So as I thought, they told me to split it because this is connected. There are some cords that you need to cut from someone that is trying to trigger you, someone that is projecting energy onto you. You need to cut those cords. Do some cleansing meditations, okay? That's important. They're guiding me to take this out. Okay, and behind that is you are more hurt than you realize, okay? So this could be somebody that has done something to you that has really, really affected you. However, I feel like your higher self wants you to know that as a result of this situation, you are transforming, okay? Let's get a couple more, Holy Spirit. This person that hurt you, this person really did a number on you. Okay, I'm feeling a lot of energy off of this. And then as I said that, look what came out. Everyone is not out to hurt you, okay? This person really scarred you. And the Most High is saying, no one gets away with anything. God sees all. You need to know that. So this is falling right beneath, remove those cords. This everyone is not out to hurt you is falling right under get out of your head. This person really scarred you. And this is making you doubt every relationship that comes towards you. Okay. Which is putting you in this energy of low self-esteem. Because you are needing to heal something from your inner child. Uh, something that may have taken place. This is putting you in the energy of unworthiness okay making you feel as though you caused this person to do something to you so in order to prevent this from happening you start to self-sabotage and close yourself off to potential relationships that will benefit you okay so inner child healing and record removal are the two top and energy cleansing are the top meditations that you need to work on as well as positive affirmations Okay, well, you are more hurt than you realize falling beneath the inner child. There is something that happened to you in your childhood that you have suppressed to forget about it. Okay, but this has triggered you in your uh, adulthood. Okay, and this is rolling over into the connections that you have now. Potentially something that you dealt with and did not uh, fight against or stop or deal with allow yourself to heal from you are now allowing yourself to accept these things in your current life okay so that inner child healing is definitely something you have to work on and then we have work on your shadow coming up here and what i feel about your shadow is this self-esteem this this uh the way you feel about yourself okay God is saying, you are my divine one, okay? God loves you so much. God wants you to see what God sees, okay? Do something nice for yourself. Pour love into yourself, okay? Yep, confirmation. Will I ever be able to trust anyone again, okay? Yes, I'm hearing yes clearly, okay? Once you start trusting God and trusting yourself, knowing your words, working on your self-esteem, realizing, look, you have the biggest heart. This is what the most high and your higher self are saying to you. You deserve love. You are going to connect. You are going to become a vibrational match for someone that also has a very big and beautiful heart like you. But right now you're not in that energy, okay? I feel like you're judging yourself heavily. Do not judge. We're all on a journey, okay? We're all on a spiritual journey. Everything happens in the way that God wants it to in order for us to ascend, heal, and move on to help someone else, okay? God is wanting you to be honest with yourself about how you feel about yourself. 
and then just start by each day doing a little bit to show love and gratitude for yourself okay just the way you would in a relationship that's progressing with someone else you gradually start to see the things that you like about this person okay then you start letting this person know little by little how you appreciate certain things okay you grow to love this person so god is saying if you're if you have to do that gradually do that date yourself okay one final card please holy spirit from the higher self saying I am here with you you're not alone okay okay this is your energy towards yourself right now you're feeling like you feel miserably okay that is not the case that is not the case God is saying invest more time in God and in yourself you are transforming. This is the second time we saw this, okay? But you have to go through this. All of this, although it seems very dark and very tiring, okay? All of this is divinely orchestrated, 111, as I said that, okay? All of this is God's doing. God needed you to be where you are now to rebuild you in a way. Yeah, this is your energy. When will it end? Okay? with speak your truth coming out okay god is wanting you to speak your truth to yourself okay about how you feel about everything journaling is going to also be very important for you we have cords coming out a second time that's very significant you've got to remove and cut those cords from this person this energy i'm feeling a very very narcissistic energy Okay, this could have been confirmation. This could have been, I'm feeling like this was initially a parent that you were dealing with or a guardian in your childhood. And you probably connected with someone in your adulthood and your relationships that had that same energy. Okay, we have again, God sees all. This is the second time. God is trying to talk to you. Okay. God wants you to know, I saw what they did to you. They are not going to get away with it. Okay? You have to know that. Okay, they wanted me to clip this one. And they want you to continue to see this throughout this read. Okay? So you'll know this person is not getting away with what they did to you. This person is going to be sorry because you are a divine being. Okay? And also... You, while this person is going to be very sorry, you are going to be very grateful for this person that they did this to you because it's going to push you into beast mode once you get through your healing, okay? Your third eye is opening, okay? And there is a windfall of positive energy coming, although you don't feel it as of yet. What else, Holy Spirit? A few more cards. Okay, problems, mountains, obstacles, and challenges, okay? This is falling beneath. Get out of your head. You feel as though this is your energy. This is where you're going to be. And that could not be further from the truth, okay? God is saying, open your eye to see this situation from a different perspective, okay? They're showing me an eagle right now. How does an eagle see things from a very wide angle, okay? Above looking down on the situation seeing every from every angle why things happen okay god is wanting you to open up your third eye meditations for chakras is also very important to you okay for you one more please holy spirit that's a confirmation okay with the intuition is on point okay this is what your ancestors wanted you to know where you're going to be okay when they're done working with you they're wanting you to work okay this person was the bait this narcissist energies in your life were meant to do this okay so that you can have this powerful intuition and then we got the third eye open right here so that's a confirmation you could be a seer okay or you will be okay 
ancestors definitely want to connect with you. Again, I split the deck on one, one, one. That's confirmation, okay? The Most High is with you, okay? I am here with you. Know that you're not alone. What's on the bottom, Holy Spirit? <laughs> protected by the divine. You are so protected, okay? God is here. God is with you. God loves you. Okay. They want to clarify. Are we clarifying everything, Holy Spirit? Okay, and we're not clarifying everything, but they want me to, they're going to guide me to which ones need clarification. This one. Okay. They're wanting me to get the light seers for your tarot. There's some images that you need to see. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Let's clarify. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay, they just said, <laughs> you are God's baby, okay? Whoever you are, God is like, show them this one. Put this one up too. They're like, move this and put this one up. <laughs> oh, you are loved, collective. You're going to win, okay? You're going to be very successful. You are about to step into some very powerful energy. We saw windfall of positive energy. You are about to feel it, okay? Ten of Cups. I can't make this up, y'all. It's coming. Because you are about to heal yourself, <laughs> I'm hearing, okay? You are partnered to a Cups energy with the Most High God. And you're about to take action, Knight of Swords energy, on your healing. Okay? We started this read and I said something is going to spark. Look at this. This is the wounded warrior. The wounded healer. Okay? You're about to do something. <laughs> I'm very excited for you. Holy Spirit. After this betrayal. Ten of Swords. Confirmation. The Most High God is putting an end to this obsession energy. Okay. This is the obsession of you. Confirmation. This is you in your head. Okay. Thinking of yourself in this negative way. Okay. Ironically, the law of manifestation just fell over. Okay. So this could be an energy projecting our feeling. Someone that is obsessed with your energy projecting this onto you as well. We're going to dig in and see what's going on here. Holy Spirit, which ones do you want to clarify? Okay, they do want to clarify. Okay, we're clarifying each row. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So the first row, your inner child is waiting for you. You are more hurt than you realize in windfall of positive energy. Why is this here, Holy Spirit? Okay, Queen of Pentacles energy. Okay, Five of Swords. This energy is someone that was in your childhood this person was all about money this person valued money over relationships this person did not nurture you the way that you needed to so you found yourself trying to appease and buy people with money okay as opposed to 
feeling the value on the inside of you. This caused you to create value on the outside of you, okay? And this really hurt you more than you realize, okay? This person could have tried to show you love by the things that they got for you. Monetary gifts, okay? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here, Holy Spirit? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. We have the Two of Pentacles, okay? This person was not someone that loves unconditionally, okay? If you weren't doing something for this person, then you did not receive the love and attention. This is what can you do for me type of energy that you were dealing with in your childhood, okay? Page of Cups is showing up because as a child, you really needed that emotional security, emotional balance to a pinnacle to the Page of Cups. Emotional love, okay? Someone to lift you up like you see here on this card. Someone to show you love. Look at all this permeating from this person's heart. Okay, this is the energy of you potentially watching someone else being picked up by their mother or father, okay, and feeling the lack, okay. This caused you a lot more sorrow than you realized for Cubs, discontent, okay. So this is why you need to focus on your inner child healing, okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Get out of your head. Everyone is not out to hurt you. Problems, mountains, obstacles, and challenges. Holy Spirit, why is this here? Okay. Hey, man. This is all about how you see your current situation. Do you see the emergency vehicles coming outside? Okay, this is you. This is your energy. You're thinking like this is a huge big challenge a huge problem a huge obstacle for you okay when in fact it is an illusion while your pain the things that you went through did not is not an illusion that happened in your physical reality but the way that you see yourself as trapped okay the way you see yourself as a magnet for people to hurt you this is how you are seeing it okay this is not your reality okay you're creating this reality the most high god confirmation is wanting you to see things from a different perspective confirmation hold on one moment okay ironically with that ironically with that doorbell coming on the most high god is saying okay ding dong okay come on out of there come out of your head what else holy spirit why is the hangman here why is the hangman here? Okay, eight of pentacles. With the moon, okay? This is the energy of you coming. Look at look what fell over here. I cannot make it up. The nine of swords inverted, okay? I was saying this is the energy of you working on coming. I was about to say out of this dark energy, this dark place. Coming out of this out of your head with the nine of swords okay it's in the reverse behind the nine of swords is the five of wands in the reverse okay and the three of wands in reverse all three of these cards fell out as i was talking about the the eight of pentacles and the moon this is because you're in your head you're creating a lot of conflict for yourself because you're thinking that everyone is out to get you we had this coming out Everyone's not out to hurt you while there are some energies around you that you need to remove Cut cords and remove yourself from Everyone is not going to be that way Everyone is not going to be a problem an obstacle and a challenge for you. Okay, but if you perceive it to be that way you will manifest that Okay I hope this message is coming through for you Okay, so this is this all needs to be in reverse. Come out of your head, stop creating these conflicts, and stop anticipating negativity. Okay, positive energy, 
project it, okay? Manifest it, okay? Come out of this issue of this energy of saying, I know that problems and obstacles and mountains and challenges is my destiny. This is this is not what we're doing over here anymore, okay? Work diligently towards moving yourself out of that dark energy, okay? This is a proactive exercise that you're going to have to do to come out of it. Discipline, discipline, queen of swords energy. This is intentional action, intentional intellect towards being smarter about the things you manifest, smarter about the way you talk to yourself, okay? Understanding that yes, there are going to be people in your energy that have these this obstacles and challenges that want this for you, okay? But you're ready if you're the queen of swords. You see that sword? You're poised and ready. You're anticipating with the three of wands that there might be some adversity. There might be people that want to come against you. But <laughs> God is with you. God sees all and you are being protected, okay? No one gets away with anything, okay? So there's no reason for you to be projecting this onto yourself and into your life, okay? The moon wanted to come out. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They want the moon over here on remove the course because there is something here. This energy that was triggering to you. Let's clarify. Okay, Holy Spirit. We have remove the cords with the moon. No one gets away with anything. God sees all and third eye open. Okay, I feel as though they're about to open your third eye now as we clarify this row. Confirmation. Something that is going to come out right now is going to give you deeper insight and open your third eye. Then you will be able to evaluate your circumstances and see some things that happened to you and understand them a little bit better. All right, let's do it, Holy Spirit. Remove the cords, the moon. No one gets away with anything. God sees all and third eye open, Holy Spirit. Why is this here? Why is this here, Holy Spirit? King of Swords. Okay, we talked about a narcissistic energy. Okay. This person has a very nasty energy. King of Swords, King of Wands. Okay, this person was someone that was very... Um, okay, the same type of conditional love that you received in your childhood is what this person emitted and projected onto you as well this person wanted you to uh the, the what can you do for me energy sexually okay and if you didn't provide that this person would get it wherever they could this person was very manipulative towards you and this person spoke to you very badly this is a very nasty energy i'm feeling yeah narcissistic energy this person felt like they were a tie this person was like a tyrant okay this person felt like you were their property this person wanted to control your world okay control everything about it okay what's hidden holy spirit so king of swords king of wands am i taking this out holy spirit yes okay no okay what's hidden holy spirit what what does this what does the divine one need to know about this person? What's hidden, Holy Spirit, with the moon? What was hidden, Holy Spirit? I'm getting the energy of something with pentacles. Something to do with money that this person did. What is this, Holy Spirit? Seven of Swords, sneaky and deceptive. Eight of Cups. 
Okay, what is it, Holy Spirit? This person did something. What did this person do, Holy Spirit? Eight of Swords, this is your energy in your head. Four of Pentacles. Holy Spirit, what does this King of Swords, King of Wands do in this Seven of Swords energy? What did they do? What did they do? Yep, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. I cannot make it up. This person tried to put some type of spell work over you to prevent you from having money, from being independent. Nine of Pentacles. From having a new beginning. It's in the reverse. And from meeting your true match, King of Cups. This person did some spell work. This person did some heavy spell work. And that's the projection. This, you ha this is the person you're going to have to cut cords from. Okay? Because this person is still sending spell work towards you. That's why you're in this energy in your head. This Eight of Swords energy. Okay? This person may have tapped into... With the hermit, this person may have tapped into your Akashic records and found out that you have a divine counterpart. Um, this could be your energy or the Queen of Cups could be this other person's energy. Okay. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Okay. Don't let anyone trigger you. You are healed. I am here with you and ancestors. Okay. This role is all about the Most High God, your spirit guides, the angels and ancestors telling you okay you are healed now pay close attention to this card okay the law of manifestation you are healed okay now i know we're talking to you and you were been in this in your head energy feeling the woe is me and why and all of this but this is your affirmation you are healed i am healed i am successful Okay, project that, affirm that, manifest that, okay? This is what your angels want you to know, okay? You are healed. They are with you. Ancestors and spirit guides, the Most High is with you, okay? We're going to clarify this right now. Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck, okay? You good. You are good, okay? <laughs> I was getting ready to shuffle to clarify this deck, and these popped over. The star with the four of wands. You are the star. You are God's baby, like I said. Okay, you see this light shining down on you? Okay, you are receiving downloads. So definitely cleanse your energy clear in your aura spiritual bath i'm hearing spiritual bath for you a long one with lots of prayer lots of meditation okay lots of silence and quiet time to allow your ancestors and spirit guides to talk to you okay don't let anybody trigger you you are stable secure okay divinely protected okay you are the star Okay, stars are never alone. Okay, they're always <laughs> being accompanied. Okay, because there's a star, and you are accompanied by the Most High God, your ancestors, and angels. All right, come out of this Five of Pentacles. I'm alone. Energy, Ace of Swords, Holy Spirit. Don't let anyone trigger you. You are healed. Four of Wands, the star. I am here with you ancestors why is this here holy spirit why is this here king of pentacles full nine of wands on the bottom of the deck this is poking out this is this person's energy coming through this is not your energy this king of swords king of wands <sighs> This person is a doozy. You have to cut cords with this person. This is a very dominant, 
narcissistic energy that wants to control everything okay this person is driven by money i said this person did something with pinnacles nine of pinnacles came out then we have the king of pinnacles here that's ten pinnacles this person wants to stop you from getting to ten pinnacles this person wants to come back in and control you and prevent you from stepping into this stardom okay this person wants you to feel wounded, victimized, paranoid, unable to move forward. Seven of Cups sticking out right here, okay? They want you to be confused. You're not confused. You are the star, okay? You are about to be in this energy of wish fulfillment because you are very powerful. You are going to start telling yourself that, okay? This person has no control. Why is the King of Pentacles here? This person, ugh, seeing five of swords. This person is very, the lovers, the will of fortune. This person is trying to project a lot of burdens on you so you can run back to them and feel as though this is your divine partner, okay? This is not your divine partner. You're, you are the queen of cups or the king of cups, okay? Didn't I just say I saw the five of swords? Where did it go? I just saw it. Okay, now they're showing, oh, Holy Spirit, let's see. Okay, they wanted you, me to take this out. I just showed you this. Power, strength, nine of cups. It's just on the other, other side of your healing, okay? This is a battle that you're going to have to fight, okay? Ancestors are with you. They're peeking out. They're like watching from the background, making sure this is a fair fight. But you are about to step into your power and you're about to slay this demon on your own. But you are powered by God, your spirit guides, and the ancestors. But they're going to let you do it. I'm hearing that clearly. Okay. Powered by the sun, taking action against this person. You are about to do it. Justice will be served. Okay. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is trying to come in quick because they know that God has scooped you up and you're about to be in this healing energy. So they want to come back in quickly with more betrayal for you, more projections with this Eight of Wands to the Ten of Swords, okay? They think that you are going to be in this full energy and welcome them back with open arms. This person is unbelievable. But the Most High and Archangel Michael are saying, uh, nope, they got you locked. This person won't be able to access you. However, again, Two of Swords, you have to come out of your head. Take off these blinders, okay? Get out of your head. Take this off. Cut those cords. Clear your energy so that you can come out of this Ten of Swords energy. Empress. Okay. What else about this King of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? Can't make it up. This person wants to bring in a tower for you. This person is coming. Eight of Wands to the tower to the Nine of Wands. This person is coming in quick to try to get you in this victim mentality, this paranoid, nervous, scared mentality, okay? What's behind that, okay? Seven of Wands, you are protected from this person. You are protected because they're trying to come with this Emperor energy to the Knight of Swords, very narcissistic, dominant, aggressive, uh, overbearing energy, but you're protected, okay? Holy Spirit, what's the outcome? What's the outcome? They're guiding me to split this deck. This is the higher self deck. There's something here in the middle. They do not want you to succeed, okay? They don't want you to succeed. This person is trying it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What did I say? Queen of Cups, okay? Your, your counterpart is this King of Cups. You are coming out. Your counterpart is coming. There's nothing this person can do. All you have to do is know that, first of all. What's on the bottom? <laughs> Ace of Swords, okay? 
outcome, Holy Spirit. So the outcome so far is that your counterpart is coming. Your union is protected. But I feel like you have to come out of this five of cups, lack, four of four of cups, five of cups, energy I'm feeling still heavily. So please cleanse your energy. Pray, connect, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? What else should we be aware of? Okay. Your guides are wanting you to be excited about this new journey you're about to go on because you are about to step into this star energy. Okay. Get excited. Okay. There's a lot to be excited about. Invest in yourself. Okay. Get out in the sun. Get those light codes. Get that cleansing. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? Okay. Your past is going to be balanced out with your inner child healing. They wanted to remind you of that. That was the first card here. Your inner child is waiting for you. Okay. You got to go back into that in order to heal it. Okay. It's not going to be pretty going back in, first of all. Okay. But the angels are with you and they're going to help you balance this out. You have to feel to heal. You won't be able to heal this situation unless you face it head on, okay? And that's what the book was saying initially about facing these things. But it's going to be okay, okay? <laughs> I cannot make it up. You and God, okay? Didn't I show you this card and say you're going to win, you're going to be successful? God sees all. You're protected by the, by the divine. I am here with you, says the Most High God. You're good. But God is wanting you to know that you're good, okay? Do not doubt. Do not doubt. If you're doubting you, you're doubting God, okay? Because God is with you and you are God's baby. What's on the bottom? Okay. Free. I'm seeing free. This person is free. Free from the bondage of your mind, your spirit, these projections, this energy this person is sending to you. You are free. Throwing caution to the wind. Dance it with your ancestors, okay? Releasing this energy. It's a wrap. It's just on the other side of your prayer and belief that your destiny is this stardom, this successful energy, okay? It's all about what you believe to be true and what you project out into the universe. Okay, they want me to give you an advice from the moon cards. Holy Spirit, what should we be aware of? The end of a tough cycle approaches. Can't make this stuff up, y'all. This is about to be over. This is just on the other side of you. Okay, they want me to put it here. Of you knowing, okay? <laughs> Split the deck on surrender to the divine, okay? Surrender, allow God to help you, okay? There's one more. Your hard work is paying off, okay? The minute you step in, first, the first step is just acknowledging that there's some things that you need to work on. If you tell myself, tell yourself, okay, what's bothering me, okay? Take some time to journal those things that are bothering you and then say, okay, one day, at a time I'll tackle one of these things okay and then you begin to write what I do let me let me give you an example they're guiding me to give you an example so I'm gonna do it we're gonna do one hold on let me get my journal and I'm gonna do a journal entry a healing journal entry with you guys today hold on all right family so this is one of my handy dandy journal uh, journals says grateful on the front this always reminds me to be grateful 
that's very important. Writing down gratitude, uh, a gratitude list daily is also very helpful to taking you out of your energy because it redirects your focus on to what is positive in your life. And that kind of sets the tone for your day. If you don't write it, you wake up in the morning, you say, another day. Thank you, God, for allowing the sun to shine through today. Thank you, God, for allowing me to have a place to sleep, shelter, okay? Thank you, God, for allowing me to have a job to go to today. Thank you for allowing my health to be good today. If you always start your day on that note, confirmation, then you will be in the energy of feeling grateful, knowing that God is blessing you. Okay, so let's do it. So this is an example. So I would write, how are you feeling, okay? This is one of the many examples. This is like a self-check you do. So then you write down number one, okay? Let me think. I'm going to give you a true example of something that I've been feeling. Hmm. Okay, for example, I need to cut cords with those people or from those people, okay? So that'll be the number one, okay? And just say I have another one. What I would do is go to this page, next page, and start number two. Spend more time praying, okay? Just for example, I'm just showing you guys, okay? So then I would say, okay, today I'm going to focus on this. Or you might find, for example, that today there's some energies coming towards you and you know if you do this today, it's going to open a wound that's going to put you in a lower vibration. So you'll say, no, I can't deal with this one today. I'm going to do this and spend more time praying. Let's see. Let's let's tell God what I want to pray about. And I'll put, God, I need strength to endure whatever this is. Please remove this from me, God. Give this to God. Put it on paper. Give it to God and move on. When you're done with this, You'll be done with that, okay? Then you'll start getting into the energy of praying more often, okay? Believe it or not, I'm trying to tell you this. I got pages and pages. This is about my, I can't tell you, over my entire period, I have, I can't even tell you how many journals I have filled up. <laughs> That's period. That's the truth. I filled up so many journals. I just keep ordering more journals so that I have them when I need them. I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life because this is a huge, huge part of the healing process, okay? Because especially in the morning and at night, because you want to empty your mind of all the thoughts that roam, okay? You want to get that out. You don't want to go to sleep pondering on the projections of someone or feeling lack or feeling sad or feeling bad about yourself you don't want that energy on you when you sleep okay because then these entities that try to send you uh dark energy or conjure up things to send to you at night can easily connect with that low vibration that you fell asleep in okay so i needed to express that for someone here Okay, so we have your hard work is paying off. Okay, so journal, pray, cut cords, spiritual bath, go out in nature, let the sun hit you. Um, what else? Okay, they're guiding me to this will of fortune, okay. Happiness is my birthright. Peace is my birthright. 
Abundance is my birthright, okay? I am chosen by God for this mission. I am powerful, okay? This is what you want to affirm to yourself regularly, especially in those moments where you are feeling like this energy, this five of wands, this conflict, this chaos, this stress, okay? You don't want to say, I'm stressed out. Um, this is driving me. You don't want to say things like that, okay? Because if you're saying this is driving me crazy, okay, the universe is saying, okay, let's help her. Let's help her uh, be driven crazy. Let's help her to be in that energy. The universe wants to assist you, but they're going to assist you with whatever you're asking for or whatever you're projecting, okay? So look at this person, balanced, okay, on top of the wheel. Karma wants to run in your favor. Karma wants to help you. The universe wants to spend this will in your favor, but you have to invest in it, okay? You have to do the work, and your work right now is manifesting, cutting off these cords, cleansing your energy, okay? They just showed me the magician for why, Holy Spirit. What's up with that? Magician and the Five of Cups, okay? This person, let me tell you something about this person. It's King of Pentacles, King of Swords, King of Wands energy. The minute I start talking about your destiny, your purpose, what they, what you're meant to be doing, all this, this came up. This person is manifest. This person is trying to manipulate energy to project this Five of Cups onto you right now, okay? But God got something for this person, okay? God sees all. You're protected. <sighs> they want me to clarify. Holy Spirit. Why is the magician here, Holy Spirit? They just said, stop shuffling. Two of swords. This is your mind, okay? This is your mind. This is what you feel now this very well may be this person doing this okay but this is your energy you this is what you're feeling about everybody around you you think everybody's out to get you everybody wants you to be in this ten of swords and that's not the case so seriously really you got to cleanse this energy you've got to get out of this place but i feel like this person is doing that but you feel like everyone is doing that. They wanted me to clarify for this King of Pentacles, King of Swords, King of Wands type of energy. This person is everything but the King of Cups. This person is emotionless, uh, very narcissistic energy, just a disgusting energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They said just, shuff, just split it and the judgment is here. That plain and simple, they don't want to spend too much time on this person, okay? God has got it. Let me get you some more advice from the angels. Holy Spirit, what else should we be aware of? Archangel Uriel. A great and, and spiritual transformation is currently occurring both in your life and in our world. This is the unit of heaven and earth. Spirit and matter, heart and mind, unite in harmonious balance okay balance is happening judgment is here the scales are being balanced i'm seeing a justice card in my third eye this person i don't care what they do they can conjure up all they want to you <laughs> are protected by the divine they want you to get into this healing very important archangel Raphael is working with you I, the angel of healing, am with you right now. Feel my presence and my unwavering love for you. I have loved you before the dawn of time, and I will love you for all eternity. Okay? Archangel Raphael, call on them. One more. Archangel Michael is also here. You have angels all around you. Archangel Sandalphon is saying, continue to pray. 
Archangel Sandalfon delivers your prayers to the Most High. I feel like you speak directly to the Most High God, though. Once you are getting your chakras clear, specifically the crown, the heart, the, all of them. <laughs> I heard the crown, the heart, the root, and the third eye, okay? All of these, you're going to be able to hear the Most High clearly. I have heard your call for help. Your prayer will soon be answered, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? Think global. You are being encouraged to spread your wings. Think outside of the square. You are a citizen of the world. Expand your vision. Imagine the world within your heart. Embrace it. Surround it with love. Let it be. And so it will be. They're showing you this because they want you to come out of this very small-minded mindset that you're in. Get out of your head that came out earlier, okay? Embrace it, surround it with love, let it be, and so it will be. Manifestation, okay? That is what manifestation is all about. How to imagine the world within your heart, your heart's desires. What is that? Manifest that. Believe in that. Put love and effort and, and peace and joy into that, those thoughts. Let it be, okay? It's, that's what it is. You know, okay? And so it will be, okay? Ashe. Holy Spirit, thank you, thank you, thank you for this beautiful message. Oh, Okay, we're not done. They want you to, they didn't want to drive this point home to you, okay? <laughs> they said split it. So we have changes coming. This is the number seven. This is the number of divinity, the number of the most high God. God is with you. You see all these butterflies? You see how we kept seeing you are transforming? You are transforming. Look at this person's face. This is going to be you, Okay. I am here to guide you through this exciting transformation. This is a time of joyous opportunities, okay? And the other one is 35. That breaks down to an eight, which is all about abundance, okay? I'm feeling an abundance of love pouring into this room right now. It's going to be pouring all over you. You have a lot of angelic and energetic support around you okay trust the guidance you are receiving archangel uriel is here again archangel uriel is working closely with you has blessed you archangel uriel has blessed you with blessed you with a brilliant epiphany i am also present to clear away your worry so you can trust your divine guidance okay if i'm not mistaken we started this read and the Palo Santo spark that said an epiphany or something will spark if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yes, yeah, something's going to spark. Something's going to pop in your mind, okay? And it's going to help you to continue to heal and open you up to this energy of I am the star, okay? You see how gradually this self-esteem back here was covered up by God's protection, by your surrender. They're guiding me to show you this now. We have self-esteem behind this. The Most High God and you working together, okay? Knowing you're protected. And then the Six of Wands with your success, okay? All of that is just beyond this self-esteem that you have. How you feel about yourself. Seeing yourself as the star, Ah, I love this, okay? My loves, that was your read. Know that this ending is coming soon, okay, to this tough cycle. You're about to step into a beautiful season in your life. You're about to recognize your worth and allow the Most High God to help you heal, okay, to show you yourself, to recognize the beautiful gifts that you have, for this world, not just for you, but for the entire world, okay? We saw the world card come out. We saw the star card come out. There's something that you're gonna be doing related to this situation, okay? Recognize your power. 
Don't worry about this King of Pentacles, Swords, and Wands, okay? Judgment is here. Judgment is upon this person, okay? Heal. Start with your inner child healing. I think that needs to be addressed first. So that coupled with your affirmations, okay? You hear that plane ahead, up above? Okay, you're, you're being taken out of this situation. God is moving you forward. Okay, nothing happens by accident. Thank your angels. Thank the Most High God. They love you so much. Two of Cups. They love you. Okay. <laughs> Everything happens the way that God wants it to. I love you, Most High God. I love you, love you, love you so much. We are so grateful. All right. Let's see. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Okay. Okay. There is one more card here for you. They're wanting me to split this confessions, sub confessions, higher self deck for you. Again, there's something there. Let's see. Add these first or no? No. Okay. Shuffle? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, my guides. I love you. You are the only thing that can stand in your way. Let me say it one more time. You are the only thing that can stand in your way. We had the card of problems, obstacles, and challenges. They wanted me to pull it out again. That we had come out earlier. Okay. They're saying this is you. If you, if you see yourself this way, then that's what it will be. You're the only one that can save yourself. And you're the only one that can stop yourself from moving forward. Okay, the power is within you. Okay, but you're gonna do this. You're about to heal yourself. I can feel it. Cut those cords. Okay, I am healed. You got this. God loves you so very much. I love you so very much. I really hope that this message helped you. Get yourself a journal if you don't already have one. It doesn't matter. Grab a piece of paper. Don't have to get all fancy with the journals if that's not what you want to do. doesn't matter. Just write. Okay? If you want to make it, do it in your phone. I feel like there's a difference. There's, a, there's an activation that occurs when you're actually writing it versus typing it. There's something that happens for me, okay? But it may be different for you. I don't really think it matters. God just wants you to get whatever this is on your mind out, okay? So that you can start this healing. I love you, love you, love you. Let's clear this energy. Take a few deep breaths. Inhale that positive life force energy. Exhale any stress, anxiety. Release. Yeah. Most high God, we love you and thank you for this message, for the enlightenment, okay? For the protection, for the peace. We return this energy to be transmuted into love, light, positivity. We return any remaining energy to sender tenfold, and so it will be. Archangel Michael, continue to protect us. Archangel Raphael, please help us to heal, and so it is. Ashe, peace and blessing, loved ones. See you in the next reading.